So picture this, an entire line of action figures, all based on the billions of different pop culture properties currently under license at Hasbro. Sounds crazy, right? But it also sounds awesome. Let's talk about what I like to call my pitch for a line known as Hasbro Legends. You see, it wasn't that long ago that we got news that Hasbro was trying to put together a unified movie universe, a cinematic universe in the same vein as what we've seen done with Marvel Comics. And that's because Hasbro currently has a ton of classic toy properties all under their banner. Now, of course, you've got the heavy hitters with Hasbro like the Transformers and, of course, G.I. Joe. And they had already started doing movies with those particular franchises, of course, the Transformers being incredibly successful. So news came out that they were going to start linking all these properties together with all these cool different toy lines. And some of the names that were thrown around were things like Mask, Visionaries, Rom the Space Knight, all kinds of crazy stuff. And I don't think that has ever gone anywhere. But you know what it did do? It got my brain working. Because I started thinking, why haven't we seen more of these toys in our toy aisles? Why hasn't Hasbro gone back in and done some of these different characters as brand new action figures? Now, the easy answer to that is that we can't guarantee that any of those lines are going to be successful again. Heck, some of those were very obscure. As much as we love them now, they were a bit obscure even when they were out. So who knows if they would even sell well today if they did full on toy lines of these. I see the mask argument thrown around all the time, wondering why Hasbro isn't doing mask again, and I agree with you, I think a new line of mask toys would be amazing, but at the same time, in today's marketplace, I can understand why doing a whole bunch of vehicles, because that line is based around its vehicles, might be a little risky. So that's when I really started thinking. What they should do is one unified line that just gives us a bunch of these characters that all fall under the Hasbro banner in one line that I like to call Hasbro Legends. Of course, they have been massively successful with the Marvel Legends line, and they've done a bunch of other very cool six inch scale collectible action figure lines ever since then. So let's run down the list real quick because the thing that really got me thinking about this was a few years ago at San Diego Comic-Con in 2017, they did a Hasbro Evolution box set where they had all of these new three and three quarter inch action figures based on several of their properties like Visionaries and even Rom the Space Knight. But I'm thinking bigger because of things like Marvel Legends, because that that is my preferred scale. I know I'm being a little selfish here. I want to see a full-on six-inch scale line with all of these different characters. And there are so many to choose from, which you can see sitting right behind me right now. I want to start with Rom the Space Knight because, first of all, Marvel Legends. I wanted to see Rom in Marvel Legends. I don't know if it's possible, but it seems like it should happen, especially since Hasbro has those rights right now to the Rom character. You see, he started off as a toy back in 1979, released by Parker Brothers, which was eventually absorbed by Hasbro. But then he went on to have a pretty successful series of comic books from Marvel Comics. So essentially, he is a Marvel Comics character. But if we can't get him in Marvel Legends, Rom is absolutely a character that I want to see done in that six inch scale that could fit right in with them. And of course, you can make him look like the original toy, but I think a lot of us would love to see one that's based more on his appearance from the original comic books. Okay, I'm going to move right along with another comic book character from Marvel Comics, and this one I am not entirely sure if Hasbro has the rights to, but come on, we need a 6-inch action figure of Kristar. So the Kristar toy line was released by Remco in the 80s. It's one of my favorite obscure toy lines from that era. Uh, you know, just the very cool crystally look of the heroes. You got those magma lava guys for the villains. You've got dragons. And of course, they also got a run of comic books from Marvel Comics. Man, we have got to see Kristar and even some of those awesome villains and dragons maybe in a six inch lineup. Come on, Hasbro. 
There are so many cool licenses that Hasbro does have right? That could make perfect figures in the six inch scale. I'm talking about things like visionaries. Now, look, I know that those originally were done in that GI Joe scale, but if we're talking about one unified line, we've got to bring the scale up on some of these guys. I'd like to see some six inch scale visionaries. Oh, and they had that whole comic book thing going on there too. Or what about Dungeons and Dragons? Now, this is one that I know for sure that Hasbro has the license to since they've got Wizards of the Coast. Those original LJN Dungeons and Dragons action figures, man, they really do have a special place in a lot of collectors' hearts. And I know, I know for a fact that we would all love a six inch War Duke action figure. At the very least, at the bare minimum, give us a War Duke Hasbro. Inhumanoids, oh man, Inhumanoids. Now look, this is another genre Another line that kind of fits in with the G.I. Joe universe, you know, very, very, very thinly related. The original figures were supposed to be like three and three quarter inch scale humans, but they were in larger mech suits. But still, that could be a really fun line to do if we just wanted to get them out there. We'd boost them up to that six inch scale. They could be even bigger since they're in those mech suits. Make them like eight inches tall, nine inches tall, huge mech suits. Maybe we can even take the humans out of them. Oh my goodness. I know those would be expensive, but expensive that's where inhumanoids would have to be because you got guys like tendril back here the three big monsters all the monster characters were the best part of that line i don't know how hasbro would do it but i want them <laughs> i want them and of course we can't forget the micronauts that's got to be one of the most prominent toy lines of the the history of action figures and Hasbro has the rights to that property, and we don't have new Micronauts toys. Think about, and I know these are supposed to be tiny guys. Even in that Revolution box set, they were like little, little bitty, but I don't want that. I would love some really nicely detailed, you know, six inch Micronauts action figures. That'd be really cool. I don't know, if you wanted to scale them down, maybe they could be smaller guys among the three inch figures, but Micronauts is such a great classic toy line, uh, which again, has a comic book tie-in that could be a great thing to see in a Hasbro Legends lineup. Oh my gosh, what about Gem? Gem and the Holograms? Get out of here, come on. I would love to see Gem and the Holograms as action figures. You know, we can throw in the Misfits, we can throw in Gem, we can throw in Synergy, make them six inch action figures. Oh gosh, the potential is there, guys. I'm getting myself so excited just thinking about all of these amazing properties that Hasbro has just been sitting on and Hasbro Legends is the answer, I'm telling you. So how does this happen? How do we make this happen? Well, this would definitely have to be a line that is dedicated strictly for the collector. I can't really see this being something that retail would be interested in. They would probably not understand it. But what I think that this is perfect for is HasLab. If we're gonna use HasLab, if we're gonna do the crowdfunding thing, maybe we can throw this idea out there and see if this is something that the fans want. They can put their money where their mouth is. I can put my money where my mouth is since I'm the one sitting here proposing this line. But hey, I get it. Crowdsourcing isn't for everybody. So maybe just a direct to consumer sale right there on Hasbro Pulse. I will take it. I will take it either way. Hasbro, Hasbro Legends, what are you guys waiting for? I am handing you a pile of money right now with this idea. Do you think people want Hasbro Legends? You're Dan right they do.